<laughs> Welcome back to another pretentious beer notes. I missed one last week. No one cares. But we're back swinging with Club Tropicana. Drinks are free. Wham. Wham. Tiny Rebel Tropical IPA. <sighs> I have uh, delved once again into the mad world of beer notes. Hmm? Oh, get out there. You beauty. The theme for this week's pretentious beer notes is let's add descriptions and words of things that are so far removed from the beer itself. God bless them. Let's get started. Fruity aroma, pleasant. The first sip was really aggressive. With full on tartness and a very dry finish and aftertaste. This got a bit rounded and toned dough with every further sip and gulp. Very complex for me since there is a ton of taste going on, but far too less focus and all over the place, just meh and borderline. Okay, for me. Meh. Moving on, on top of Galbraith's. I'm sure it's not now. Pause hazy yellow brown, mango, pineapple, guava, lychee, sticky honey. Sticky honey? Sticky honey? Coconut. Really sweet. Impressive tropical bouquet. Nice. Amazingly fruity aroma full of pineapple and peaches. A bit too fruity in taste though, as though a dash of orange juice and pineapple juice has been added. God damn that. Reminded me of a beer that's been left open in the fridge, then drank the next day. What moron is putting an opened beer in the fridge to finish the next day? Because nothing screams this beer's been open all night, like fresh orange and pineapple juice flavours. Slightly thin in body, but refreshing and fruity, not too complex. Second so hundred, Brooklyn Tap. Pours clear, golden, with a white head, aroma is guava, pineapple, generally tropical. Taste is lightly bitter. Kind of juicy, pretty solid. Woo! First Wales beer. Did not expect it. Hold on to your hats. Hold on to your hats. Because this guy's about to turn mental on your ass. This may not be to everyone's taste, but it's my kind of beer. So, here it goes. Tempting aromas as soon as it's poured are followed by gorgeous flavours as soon as you sip it. Bursting with tropical taste, they're all crammed into it. Pineapple, mango, orange, passion fruit. If it's tropical fruits, it's part of the team. Maybe there's maracuja in the <laughs> Flavours dance on your tongue for a good while after you've drained the last drop from the glass. Drained it. I want more and I'll definitely buy more. Many more. <laughs> He's gone mad. He's gone mad with the club trap car. 330ml can. 5.5%. At the Arches, Glasgow. On the 6th of April, 2018. My god. Is this took from his diary? It's a snippet from his diary. Pine. Tropical fruits aroma. Pale golden. Thin bubbly white head. Pine. Again. Grassy. Tropical fruits. Again. Just repeating himself. Powdery. How does something taste powdery? Powdery is a sensation. It's a texture. And if that's the case, you're drinking a liquid. Let's not be ridiculous. Moving on. Oh, Jesus. A tropical hymn. Indeed. <laughs> How can I best describe the tropicalness? I'll describe it like a religious song. Very succulous. Come on, man. Succulous. You've spelled it wrong. There's two C's in succulous. Don't you know? Succulous It's just succulent. You just be pretentious with it. This is beer with plenty of light fruity joys. <laughs> like pineapple, lime, raisin, apricot, and I even detect 
some coconut. Mm -hmm. mm. Thanks, H&T. Murky golden orange colour, white head. Aroma of pure pineapple and mango juice. Light pine. Flavour is very fruity. Pineapple and mango. Hint of passion fruit. Or... Oh. <laughs> Maracuva. A bit soapy because of all the fruit juice. That's why it's soapy, because of all that fruit juice. Back to describing things that have nothing to do with it. A hazy golden colour with a frothy white head. Starting okay. Aroma of passion fruit and oat cakes with lots of peach and orange milkshake. I don't believe I've ever in my entire life had an orange milkshake. Some herbal hops and vanilla. Vanilla? And passion fruit. Maracuja. With a light sweetness. Some candle wax. <laughs> That's what it is. There was something about this beer. I couldn't put my finger on it till now. Candle wax. You thought the candle wax was bad. Just wait till you hear what this guy's describing it like. Oh, it's a beauty. My eyes lit up. Come from box beers. Hazy orange with a white head. Aroma. Aroma is super fruity multivitamin juice and lemon urinal cake. I know what you're thinking. Multivitamin juice. <laughs> Taste is pineapple, grass, some citrus, peach, passion fruit, maracuja. That's where Tiny Rebel's going wrong. They need this guy to work for them. First of all, you wouldn't have this guy recommend anything for you to drink or eat after reading this. But they're missing the trick here. They need him on the marketing team. They need him in front of cameras, selling the beer to the world. We have this nice tropical beer. Club Tropicana. Oh yeah? What's it taste like? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to the urinals? <laughs> Made my day until this one. This one's the best one, best one, so glad I found it. I had to ring Peter Elshes and tell him not to bother writing one for this week's episode because this one's golden. Fruited, literally, IPA from Tiny Rebel, Wales's best known craft brewery. <laughs> I know what's coming. <laughs> Very thick and frothy, wheat enhanced, papery, lacing. Only very slowly thinning, egg white head resting atop an initially lightly hazy pure and warm yellow golden beer, turning more equally hazy and deeper, old gold, with sediment added. Aroma of fresh grapefruit peel and grapefruit juice, overripe if not rutting mango. Mango. Right mango. It gets better. Orange scented bath soap. Oh dear. Guava. Tropical orchids. <gasps> Tropical orchids. Mojito. Including the peppermint leaves. What is this guy? Ripe pineapple. Stale lime juice. Who has drunk stale lime juice? Who has stale lime juice? Passion fruit juice. <sighs> Hints of urine. <laughs> Hints of urine, my God. Firstly, why do you know what urine tastes like? I don't know whether to be disgusted with him or impressed that his urine tastes like tropical fruit juice. Camphor and whipped cream. Evidently, very lively, fruity onset. Lychee, kiwi, pine, apple and mango with a citrusy freshness all round. Sweetish with sourish lime-like notes. Medium carbonated with mild mineral effects. Supple. Soapy, slick mouthfeel, doughy and cereal malt base with a very outspoken weak soapiness. Soapiness. Why is soap such a big player in this episode? Retronasally. Adds sweetness and some extra sourishness, but in a not too overpowering way, blending in well with the fruity character of the hops. The wheaty soapiness. Oh. Lingers after swallowing, <laughs> along with the fruit effect 
not quite the New England style IPA I was expecting. Why were you expecting a New England IPA? Because it's not a New England IPA. It doesn't claim to be. Rather a more classic international style IPA made sweeter and artificially juicier by adding fruit juice <laughs> with somewhat lemonade-like effect yet not too much to become ridiculously sweet and childish. Interesting, though not my personal cup of tea when it comes to IPAs. Oh, thank God for that guy. He's brought me much pleasure reading that out. I hope he has done the same for you. That's another episode of it. <laughs> it's so hot in here. Club Tropicana. Mmm. For what it's worth. Urine. Definitely get the urine. For what it's worth. I quite enjoyed it. And that concludes another episode of Potentious Bear Arts. Oh, Jesus Christ. I have so much fun doing this. And that's it, fellas. That's it. So, as always, don't forget to thumb this video because you don't want don't forget to hit the like and here, subscribe, click it, you want to subscribe, next to the video, get out of See you until next time. <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye.